Does your Discord server look like this? Boring. Well, by the end of this video, your Discord server will go from this to this just by using embeds. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Disco Hook or click the link in the description. When you open it, you'll notice a ton of information in the right hand side, with the right being a preview of the embed and the left just being all the information you can configure. What you're going to want to do is click the clear all button at the top of the screen and you'll notice all the information which is currently in the embed will just vanish, like this. So the first section we're going to set up is the profile bit and that's pretty much just the username and the avatar URL. And so to do that, we're going to put the username in and you could normally just like put the server like name in. For my case, it would be Fleet's Embeds. Then I'm going to put the avatar URL in. And to do that, you want to go to your Discord client and then you want to go either to your Discord DMs or you want to go into a private channel in a Discord server. And you've got to make sure that this won't be removed like this image you're going to put in there because what happens, you're going to copy a link from the image and then use that as the URL. So if you remove the image, it will remove the source and it won't work. So just make sure you don't remove this image. So what you want to do, you want to paste the image into a channel or the, the Discord DM and then you want to make it bigger, so click it and then you want to right click and then copy the link and paste it in the avatar URL. Then you'll see it will come up on the right. That's the whole profile section sorted. Now we'll move on to actually creating the embeds. So you want to click add embed, which is on the left and you'll see it will create like a little section on the right. And for this, we're going to put the channel header. And the reason I'm not just making one, because I'm going to make two, the reason I'm not making one is because when you put an image link in, which is what we're going to do for the channel banner, it will put it underneath the information. So we have to have a separate one so that it maintains like above the information because it looks a lot better. That's the whole point of a channel header. So what we're going to do is the same as the avatar. We're going to go to the Discord client. We're going to put the image we want to use into a channel or our friends DMs. And then we want to open it up, so like click it and it makes it bigger. We right click, copy the link, and we want to go to the embed, so the disco hook thing. We want to go to the embed, and then we're going to go down to where it says image URL. Not the thumbnail, because if you do a thumbnail, it will do this, and it won't, it doesn't work. So make sure it's the image URL, and then if you paste it in, you'll see on the right, it will appear as the channel header. If we hit 100 likes, I'll drop a pack of loads of different channel headers you can use. And I'll put it in the pinned comments, so if you want some channel headers, be sure to like the video. So now we're going to add the information. So we're going to need to make another embed, so click the button again, and then it will create an embed too. So this is the one we're going to edit the information in. So click that and you'll see the title. This is what's going to make the text bold. So for that, we're going to pretty much just put the uh, title. So for me, I'm going to put Welcome to Fleet's Fantasy. And then the description is where you put the main server information. So for me, I'm just going to put a basic server introduction, like what the server's about and all of that. You could put all your information in here. I'm not obviously advising what you put because you're all going to make different ones to me. As for the coloured section, they use hex colours. And I'm going to link a hex colour picker in the description below. And what you want to try and do is link it to your channel header. And this gives you a much cleaner look. As you can see, it's starting to come on nicely. Now the next thing is going to be a bit more difficult. Obviously, you can use the same sort of like system we've been doing with the description and title. But now I'm going to be using fields, which allow you to put text horizontally like this. It's quite useful when you have a lot of information, and it's normally used within role information and also rules. However, this does look different when viewing this on mobile. So now we're going to add the third embed, and this is just going to be the same thing we've done before. So add embed, we've got the title and description. The title I'm going to put level roles, and then the description, I'm just going to describe pretty much like how to obtain a level and different things like that. Then we're going to go down to fields and then we're going to click add field and you'll see it creates a field title and a field description. For the field title, I'm going to leave this blank because for some reason you can't mention a role within this section. So instead, I'm going to put the invisible character, which you can find in the description because the field needs a title, else it won't work. So now I'm going to put in the field description. So to do that, I'm going to go to Discord server settings, roles, right click and copy the ID. Then I'm going to go back to Disco hook and then put the less than symbol, the at symbol, and then paste the role ID here and then put the greater than symbol. And then that's pretty much how you do it. If you've done it correctly, you should see it appear in blue, with the at roll thing on the embed preview on the right. So now we're going to do the field description. 
And for this, I'm just going to put my level perks. If you're doing role information, you might describe what the role can do and like who can obtain it. So for this, I'm going to basically be mentioning a channel. So what you want to do is go to your Discord, similar to what we did with the roles, but we're going to do this with the channel. So find the channel you want, so the self-promo. You want to right-click that, copy the ID, then go back to Disco Hook, and then if you paste it in, but what you're going to do instead, instead of putting the at symbol, you're going to put so the less than, the hashtag instead of the at symbol, you put the ID there, and then you put the greater than, and you'll see on the right, if you've done it correctly, it will go hashtag channel. And then now you can just put the rest of the information in, so all your other like perks or information. And then now when we've done with that one field, we're going to move to the next one. But before you do that, you'll see there's a little box which is called in line. So what this does, it basically makes the text go horizontally like this. And you've got to make sure that thing's ticked on every single field in order for this to happen. It goes into threes as that's the maximum and then it goes down to the next level. And then you'll notice when I get to the end, I've only got two pieces of information. And when I actually line it up, it doesn't look as good. So you're going to want to create a blank field and then you're going to want to copy an invisible character from the description. And you want to paste this in the field title and the field description. And this will leave a little gap here. And that just finishes it off nicely. I'm now going to do the same thing for the booster perks and the misc roll information. And when I do that, it should just look something like this. Now I'm going to talk about emojis. You can have generic ones like the ones on your phone, which you can copy from an emoji website, which I'll put in the description below. Or you can do colon, emoji name and colon. You'll notice on the right, if you've done it correctly, it should be on the embed. You can also use custom emojis from your Discord server, the normal and animated ones, by basically going to your Discord, putting a backslash, typing the emoji name, pressing enter, then copying the emoji name and ID which it sends. You then go to Disco Hook, basically paste that before you want to put the less than symbol and after the greater than symbol, and if you've done it correctly, you should see it on the right in the embed. Finally, I'm going to create a useful link section and this is going to be where users can basically be redirected to different Discord channels such as support or rules or you can use it to redirect to different websites such as YouTube. For this, I'm going to create a code block title. You don't have to do this, you can just create it bold but I'm adding a little bit more spice to my embed so I'm going to put useful links and then at the start of it, I'm going to put two back ticks and at the end, I'm going to put another two back ticks and you'll see it creates a little box around it. I'm then going to put my emoji in and then now I'm going to start adding some of these hyperlinks. So to create these hyperlinks we're going to use the description and we're going to have square brackets and then the text that you want so for example YouTube and then put square brackets again to close them. We're going to use their normal brackets and then open those, put the link in and close them off making sure there's no space between them and if you've done it correctly you'll make the text go blue on the right. As I mentioned you can also do this for server channels so for example we're going to put the square brackets, we're going to put server rules, close those off, then we go to discord, for example go to the server rules channel, you want to go to the message that you've got, you want to right click it, make sure you've got like the grey box around it, you want to right click, copy message link, go back to disco hook and then do the open the normal bracket, paste that in, close the bracket off and you'll notice it goes blue. And then you can obviously fill all the other ones you want to have on and that's pretty much how you set up that menu. Finally I'm just going to add those emojis to it and then I've pretty much just created my entire embed. So the last thing we have to do is send this embed into the Discord channel. And to do that you want to go to Discord, find the channel, right click, edit the channel, go to integrations, then go to webhooks, create a webhook, you want to copy the webhook URL, go to disco hook and then you want to paste it in the very top. Then you want to click send and if you go back to discord you should notice then that the embed is in the discord channel. The final thing I want to mention is if you want to edit that webhook at any time in the future you just want to go to the embed in the channel, you want to right click, copy the message link, then you go to disco hook and you want to paste that into the message link at the bottom. Make the changes and then press submit and it will edit the embed in the channel. So I'm going to leave the next video up here, but don't click on it just yet. Make sure you subscribe for more Discord content, and I'll see you in the next one.